here making another video for all of you beautiful people. Um, I'm actually really sad that Raw Food Rehab is ending. Um, I love you guys. I know that's really nerdy. I just called um, Andrea to wish her a happy birthday. So hopefully you guys showed her some love. Uh, I'm in my kitchen right now. My tiny little kitchen. I never made a, a tour de frog video because, um, well, this is the tour de frog. There's not really much happening in my little kitchen. Um, basically, the tour de frog would consist of me dirty dishes and then washing them nonstop for hours at a time. So, this is my kitchen. And right now, I have some pineapple sorbet happening, which basically, um, you can kind of see it a little bit there. Um, it is just pineapple that I juiced and then I added some agave nectar and put it in here. And I wanted to make it in the juicer because I read if you have a homogenizing blank for your juicer, you can just freeze the pineapple and then stick it in and push it through the juicer and it will actually come out as sorbet. But my champion juicer came from a garage sale and it, it only has um, this little screen, which I do not think is the homogenizing blank. So this would probably be disastrous if something frozen came through here. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. Well, as old fashioned as you can be with something that is electric and plugs into the wall. Um, so that's happening. And then I have a delicious pie that is in the freezer trying to let it get um, thicken up a little bit. And this is a recipe that I adapted from um, the Butango children. They have a book out called Fresh. Which I picked up, and so the crust of this is um, two cups raw pistachio along with some dried mulberries and some lemon juice. And I put lemon zest in because I didn't have lemon oil, which it called for. And I also put maca powder in the crust because I just love maca powder. And I dusted maca powder on the bottom so it wouldn't get stuck. So hopefully it worked out. And then the filling is just mangoes. It's just really ripe mangoes um, that you puree and then kind of stick it in there. And then there's blueberries on top and some lavender that I got at the farmer's market this morning. It's supposed to be really good edible lavender. So that's the pie. We're going to let it kind of hang out in the freezer, do its thing, feel a little more gelatinous or something. But hopefully it will be delicious. And I'm about to share this fabulous little summer dessert with a very special guest who's going to make a cameo here on my video, although he's reluctant right now. So very exciting. Do you guys remember those Armenian cucumbers from the farmer's market that I had? The whole little Britney Spears thing? Well, this is the man behind the crazy melon cucumbers, and he's going to taste that pie and tell you what he thinks. So, we will keep you updated, and I will see you shortly. Alright, we are here in my living room, and this is Casey. He's the mysterious... Hi, people farmer that I alluded to earlier who is responsible for the ever-popular Arminian cucumbers and he's also responsible for my goat cheese addiction. Not really, but it's kind of fun to blame it on someone. So, this is a slice of the pie, which did not call to be put in the, fr the freezer. It was called to be refrigerated, but I fearing for its, I don't know, Fearing for its own good, I guess, decided to put it in the freezer because it was just really, it was way too custardy. It was kind of all over the place. And then this is the um, pineapple sorbet that's melting very quickly. So, what do you think? Are you eating it? Go for it. We're going to get a verdict here. Mm. Is it good? It's delicious. Let's try some more without the ice cream. The crust is really good. The mangoes are wonderful. The blueberries are delightful. Do I win? <laughs> Did I the do a good job? Nice. Yeah. A plus. All right. You heard it here first. The pie is delicious. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to eat some now and not terrorize Casey because he doesn't seem to have an affinity for being videoed so you've done a good job we appreciate you say hi to everyone in raw food rehab hi raw foodies actually do you know what no we're gonna keep talking to you why am i letting you off so easily casey is a farmer and you guys 
eat vegetables and this makes perfect sense. We should talk to him for a minute. So tell us about your role and what you do. Where's your well, place in the universe? Um, I recently, well, three or four months ago, moved back to Oklahoma um, to work on a little organic farm. And so I primarily work with um, growing, I grow vegetables, such as the cucumber and the okra, um, peppers, tomatoes. And um, we have just about a half acre that we grow stuff on. And um, in about a month we're moving to a five acre farm, so we'll have a really big farm. Um, well, five acres of vegetables, and then 395 acres of, of forest and pasture for goats. And um, so that's where I am right now. So now I'm just eating, <laughs> eating pie here. <laughs> um, if you could be a vegetable, what vegetable would you be and why? It's kind of like having a power animal, but it's a vegetable. What would be your power um, vegetable? Um, well, I'm really into okra right now, so I would have to say okra. I don't know if this is recording because of my battery. Okay, he likes okra. Oh, no. If this is recording, we will oh, have no. this for all of posterity. We're, well, we're gonna investigate. Check yo, uh huh, TTTC, blood your city, yo, yo, check yo, uh huh, TTTC, 2000007, check yo, uh huh, TTTC.